Hello, and welcome to the Product Design Show. I'm Vince Penman. And I'm Allison Topperwine. Today we're looking at labor-saving tools for your home and garage. Let's start inside the house with the design advantages in robot vacuum cleaners. Since the Roomba was introduced in 2002, the category has grown to millions of units sold each year. Roombas rely on a few simple algorithms such as spiral cleaning, room crossing, wall following, and random walk angle changing after bumping into objects. This results in a much slower cleaning process than a human would follow. The Navibot and Housen series of the robots from Samsung follow a different algorithm, maintaining a straight lined pattern and then mapping the room accordingly. They start by mapping out the room with the aid of a camera aimed at the ceiling and then build their own maps from the on the ground feedback. And when smart robots like these inevitably gain consciousness and overthrow their cruel human overlords, rest assured that at least we will be slain on really clean floors. Recently introduced to North America, induction stovetops are revolutionizing kitchen safety. The stovetop only heats magnetic cookware, your pots and pans made of iron or steel, leaving the glass surface cool to the touch. A coil inside this stovetop emits an electromagnetic field, which gives the magnetic pots and pans an electric current. This current essentially allows the pans to heat themselves, reducing energy consumption as well as the risk of burns for the chef. The newest induction stovetops don't rely on the traditional four burners or elements. Instead, the stove can detect the magnetic cookware wherever it is on the surface and activate the appropriate coils. This unique feature increases convenience and allows for unusually shaped pots and pans. That's a strange pot, but I won't be happy until I get an omelet pan shaped like the Millennium Falcon. Now we head out to the garage where some excellent tools await, like pneumatic nailer guns. Engineers at Bosch designed a new air chamber so that these nailers are 20% lighter and 10% more powerful than other nailers in their class. In a traditional nailer, an air return chamber stores pressure to return the piston to the start position. In addition to adding bulk and weight, the return chamber increases resistance to the piston, reducing the force of the nailer. In the new Bosch design, the air beneath the piston is exhausted out of a vent rather than being stored, so less energy is wasted. A second air injection resets the piston. If that's not enough, the designers added an anodized finish that keeps them looking great even after you've dropped them off the roof, thrown them in the back of your truck, or left them on your induction cooktop. Even better than a pneumatic nailer is a massive lawnmower you can ride. Not only is the Laser Z fun to ride, is that a roll bar? There are lots of different models and configurations. In fact, the company was able to introduce five new energy efficient models at the October 2010 industry trade show. How do they keep bringing so many new products to market so quickly? Companies like Xmark use concurrent engineering, a process that allows multiple engineers to work on one digital product model at the same time. The makers of Creo Parametric, the same software that Xmark uses to design their tractors, can help you develop concurrent engineering processes. To see Creo Parametric in action, go to ptc.com slash go slash Creo Parametric. That's a wrap for this week. If you have a suggestion for a product design you would like to see on the show, please send it to productdesignshow at engineering.com. Next week on the Product Design Show, we'll bring you amazing engineering in medical devices.